In this video, I am going to show you how to set up contact from 7 lead conversion tracking for GA4. My name is Nasim and I am a top rated freelancer on Upwork with more than 6 years of working experience. I love to share my experience and teach people how to build digital skills and make money from home. So if you want to stay up to date then consider subscribing to this channel. And don't forget to check this video description because I will give all the resource link on there. Let's back to this topic. As you can see this is my wordpress demo website and my contact form page already embed on there. So just I want to see this page and here is page. And now I want to trigger all this successful event as a conversion. I will use Google Tag Manager to set up my conversion tracking because this is the smart and easy way to set up conversion tracking like Google Analytics, Google Ads, Facebook Ads, etc. If you are not so technical, you can contact me. I am here to help you. Details on the description. Let's back here. This is my Google Tag Manager account and if I I get the measurement id just admin and then find data stream so this is the data stream and if i click on that and this is actually my measurement id we need it and let's go on the tag manager and go on the preview because we uh, need to do the uh, event successfully first so it is actually the debug view it's actually the test so it's uh, you can uh, tell it's a test view so i am opening this side on the debug view and this side is already open and go to the contact 7 page and this is the page just quickly fill up this form and uh, click on get consult and this is actually the successful event that i want to track and go the tag assistant and see number 13 it's a unique event that i want to track which is cf7 actually the contact from 7 so let's make a tag so i have trigger i have the measurement id and now it's time to make the tag so this is the google analytics section and uh, find the google analytics event so i want to choose this analytics event and uh, i want to choose uh, the manually set id so here i uh, need to input my measurement id just input it here and uh, this is the actually the an uh, event name so i want to input it's a lead and now it's time to make the trigger and trigger actually it's a custom event so i want to choose custom event from this section and i want to uh, choose this cf7 form and paste it here so it's very sensitive and do it very carefully and i just want to uh, i just uh, want to keep the same name of the trigger and then click on save and now the trigger is ready tag is ready and it's time to save and done our tag setup is done and now it's time to test so go on the preview mode again so i am opening this website on the preview and you can see uh, i want to put the same information and click the get consult and this is the success message and uh, if i want to check uh, on the tag assistant and uh, select the event and you can see my, our tag is succeed and now it's time to check on analytics uh, real time data so first of all go to report and then real time and uh, yes here you can see the lead is here so that means it's a event so it's uh, not enough for me because i want to track uh, it's a conversion so for doing this go on the event again so this is the event and click on the conversion and click on new conversion event and keep the exact same name of the event so i want to choose lead and click on save and yes if you need my assist open my calendar link and book a 15 minute free pre-project call with your date and time and then 
fill up a little steps. I would love to assist you. If you think this video was useful, then hit the thumbs up because it helps me to continue working on this channel. And if you want to see more video from me, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Nasim and I will see you on the next video. Till then, bye. Have a good day.